For today's project, we're going to need a tape measure, box cutter, level, two large crescent wrenches, two 8-foot A-frame ladders, a pencil, and a Phillips screwdriver. Start by mounting your main pole and tighten all four hex nuts. Next mount both main pole ears to the main pole finger tight. Then mount your actuator to the ears and tighten. Once secured, you'll want to tighten the four main pole ear bolts. Install your actuator handle. Then using a bolt, extend the actuator about two to three inches as shown in the video. Next, we're gonna mount the main extension arm. Lift the main extension arm up and over the main post and slide in the first bolt. Then pivot the arm up and slide in the actuator bolt. Place hex nuts on each of these bolts and tighten. Next, mount your two upper linkage arms to the main pole. To mount the backboard, you will want at least four capable adults. Slide the bottom bolt through the backboard and main extension arm and secure. Then pivot the backboard up and slide the top bolt through the upper linkage arms and backboard. Ensure your extension arm and upper linkage arm bolts are secured, but have been backed off a half turn to allow the system to pivot. Now to level your backboard. Start by placing a level on the front face of your backboard to see if it needs to be leveled forward or backwards. If your backboard needs adjustment, loosen the top hex nuts on your J-bolts. Then raise either the front or the back bottom hex nuts until level. At this point, you can make sure your system is square while you have the four hex nuts loose on your J-bolts. To do this, just shift your system left or right as needed and then you can tighten all four hex nuts once level and square. Next, we are gonna mount the rim. Start by inserting the four rim spacers. Then install your rim by tightening all four hex nuts finger tight. Place a level on your rim and level as needed. Once leveled, tighten all four rim bolts. To complete your rim installation, install your rim plate. Using a tape measure, raise the rim to exactly 10 feet. Using a pencil, mark the 10 foot line. Lower your system all the way down. Then place your height sticker on using the 10 foot pencil mark as a guide. Now it's time to start playing some basketball.